Durango is a cultural heart, population center, and economic hub for La Plata County, Southwest Colorado, and the Four Corners. The city's estimated population of just over 17,000 swells to nearly twice that number each day with the arrival of tourists, workers from throughout the region, and others. We are a community that hosts almost 200 special events per year, offers robust recreational opportunities, has a vibrant downtown and business community, and Fort Lewis College with 4,000 students and their families. Durango serves as a doorstep to the 1.8 million acre San Juan National Forest, as well as Mesa Verde National Park, plus much more. Durango City Government is tasked with providing the infrastructure and services that both its residents and those thousands of daily visitors to our community expect and require, and which compound the challenges we currently face at the Durango Wastewater Treatment Plant. The plant occupies 5.5 of a 14.2 acre parcel owned by the City of Durango Sewer Fund, just south of historic downtown Durango. It borders the gold metal fishing waters of the Animas River, the Durango Whitewater Park used to help train Olympic athletes, and the coveted Animas River Trail, as well as Santa Rita City Park. Our plant was constructed 62 years ago. Since then, there have been significant evolutions in science, technology, and regulations of wastewater treatment facilities, as well as water quality. Unfortunately, our plant, like many others, has not evolved as quickly. A 2013 assessment of the state of American infrastructure conducted by the American Society of Civil Engineers finds that the condition of wastewater treatment systems nationwide is poor. Nationally, the problems associated with aging pipes and inadequate treatment capacity translate into hundreds of billions of dollars in needed improvements over the next two decades. Durango's plant underwent a major upgrade in 1982 and several minor upgrades since then. Plant employees work hard to maintain daily operations and keep the equipment that is well beyond its expected lifespan of 20 years in service. Without some intervention, the situation is bound to get worse. It's in dire need of improvement. New residential and commercial developments have the potential to push our wastewater treatment facility beyond its permitted capacity limits. Durango is in demand. Let's take a look at the status of the plant. Durango's wastewater treatment plant is rated to process 3 million gallons of waste per day and 6,000 pounds per day of carbonaceous biochemical oxygen demand. A preliminary analysis of the facility, completed by Dewberry Engineers, Inc., indicates that the facility's liquid stream processes are at maximum capacity. As a result, the facility's rated capacity of 3 million gallons per day is greatly reduced. The analysis indicates that under maximum loading conditions, the plant is operating at 69% of its permitted hydraulic capacity and 87% of its permitted organic loading capacity. These thresholds are well above ideal operating conditions. Let's look at some of the specific shortcomings of the plant that contribute to these capacity issues. This is what we call the headworks of the plant. This is the initial stage of a complex process to treat sewage. The headworks removes large debris and other materials such as sticks, stones, grit, and sand from the wastewater stream. This helps protect and reduce wear on the plant's downstream process equipment. The mechanical bar screen at our facility does not meet rated capacity for high flows, or flows over 8 million gallons per day. Our facility sees spikes well over this amount during daytime hours, during community events, and as a result of seasonal population fluctuations. Next, let's look at the aeration basins, which add air and oxygen to the treatment process. This helps sustain a healthy microbe and bug population necessary for the nitrification and denitrification process, which remove ammonia. Our aeration basins do not meet the current Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment design criteria for nitrification and denitrification. While the plant staff is capable of forcing the aeration basins to treat ammonia, it's a very difficult process that requires constant attention to details not normally associated with daily plant operations. 
The aeration basins are also operating at and above the rated organic capacity of the plant. This can lead to permit violations. The current organic loading average is 75% of rated capacity, at times reaching 88% of capacity. However, this organic loading is vulnerable to change based on Durango's fluctuating daily populations and as large commercial and residential developments come online. These additional users could push the facility further over the design limits. That could result in violations of our discharge permit and, under the worst case scenario, possible compliance orders and restrictions imposed by the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment. For these reasons and more, our plant currently struggles to meet its effluent ammonia limits. The wastewater treatment plant lacks the capacity to foster growth of the microorganisms responsible for nitrification. Although the plant currently has odor control in the headworks and the sludge storage tank, the technology is antiquated and ineffective. Upgrades can be designed to contain and treat odors. New odor technology is far superior when compared to the existing 1980s technology. The city of Durango takes great pride in ensuring that all of its operations are sustainable and the wastewater treatment plant is no different. This is the city of Durango's energy production efforts at the wastewater treatment plant. Presently, the city's on-site energy production efforts at the wastewater treatment plant account for approximately 400,000 kilowatt hours. That accounts for 12% of the facility's annual energy use. We envision adding an additional anaerobic digester and cogeneration turbine that will result in an increase in on-site renewable energy production as a result of the wastewater treatment plant processes. Addressing these issues piecemeal is like putting a small band-aid on a major wound. We need to address all of the plant's needs so it operates effectively and efficiently well into the future. Protecting and upgrading facilities such as the wastewater treatment plant go beyond providing basic services. Any improvements made at the wastewater treatment plant will benefit not only city residents and businesses, but regional visitors, tourists, current and future developments, and downstream Animus River users protecting the very things that make our community special. Things like the Animus River Trail, the river itself, and of course, the health and the welfare of the citizens of our community.